Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Construction method and equipments Question and answers 1. Define excavation what are the methods are used in excavations? Excavation work generally means work involving the removal of soil or rock from a site to form an open face, hole, or cavity using tools, machinery or explosives. Excavation has a number of important applications including exploration, environmental restoration, mining, and construction. The two methods of excavations are Mass excavation Structural excavation 2. What are the problems normally developed during deep excavations? To prevent the collapsing of sides of the trenches. To prevent water oozing or coming out from the sides and bottom of the trenches. 3. Define foundation. Foundation is a part of the structure which is present below the ground level. It supports the weight of the structure and the load carried by it. The type of the foundation depends upon the bearing capacity of the soil. 4. What are the types of foundation? Shallow foundation Spread foundation Strip footing Simple footing Stepped footing Column footing Isolated column footing Combined column footing Raft foundation Grillage foundation Deep foundation Pile foundation Pier foundation Well foundation 5. Define pier foundation a pier foundation consists of a cylindrical column of large diameter to support transfer large superimposed loads to the firm strata below. Generally pier foundation is shallower in depth than the pile foundation. It has two types. Masonry pier Concrete pier 6. What is caisson? Caissons are structural boxes or chambers. These are sunk in place through the ground or water by excavating below the bottom of the unit which enables the caisson to reach the final depth. These structures have a large cross-sectional area and hence provide high bearing capacity which is much larger than what may be offered by ACL Euster of piles. 7. What are the types of caisson? Open caisson Box caisson Pneumatic caisson 8. What are the materials used for construction of caissons? Cast iron Reinforced cement concrete Steel Timber 9. Give the uses of caissons To reach the hard-bearing structure for transferring the load coming on support for bridge piers and building columns to serve as an impervious core wall of earth dams when placed adjacent to each other to provide an access to a deep shaft or adenal. 
What are the operations involved in open caisson method of foundation? Constructing or fabricating the caisson and preparing site to receive it. Placing the caisson over the site of the pier. Excavating the soil from the interior of the caisson and advancing the caisson so that its cutting edge is at or below the bottom of the excavation. Continuing this process until the foundation in the hard stratum is reached. Sealing the bottom of the caisson to exclude water and soil. Define box caisson. It is open at the top and closed at the bottom and is made of timber, reinforced concrete, or steel. This type of caisson is used where bearing stratum is available at shallow depth. Define open caisson. Open caisson is a box opened both at top and bottom. It is made up of timber, concrete, or steel. They Open caisson is called well. Well foundation is the most common type of deep foundation used for Bridges in India 13. Define pneumatic caisson Pneumatic caissons has its lower end designed as a working chamber in which compressed air is forced to prevent the entry of water and thus excavation can be done in dry conditions. 14. Define basement. Basement or cellar is the lower story of a building constructed or partly below the ground surface. 15. Define basement construction. Construction of basement is difficult for it must be carried out below deep ground in adverse conditions such as existence of ground water, muddiness, or a limited working space. Besides, works are needed to be done amidst layers of props, struts, whaling and shores, which cannot be removed until the permanent works are completed and capable of carrying the final loads. What are the methods of basement constructions? Use of lattice beams Use of ground anchors Construct floor slab as support, top-down method Cast the center basement slab to support struts. In situ reinforced concrete and tradition formwork system. Define braced wall. What are the types of braced wall? A braced wall is a structural system composed of braced panels, also known as shear panels to counter the effects of lateral load acting on a structure. Wind and seismic loads are the most common loads that braced walls are designed to carry. Types Single diagonal Double diagonal Chevron bracing Story height knee bracing, eccentricity braced frames Define soil nailing. What are the types of soil nail wall? Soil nailing is an earth retention technique using grouted tension resisting steel elements. Nails, that can be designed for permanent or temporary support. The walls are generally constructed from the top down. Typically, Three to six feet of soil is excavated from the top of the planned excavation. Types Grouted soil nailing Driven nails Self-drilling soil nail Jet-grouted soil nail Launched soil nail what are the applications of soil nail wall? 
Roadway cuts Road widening under existing bridge abutments Tunnel portals Repair and reconstruction of existing retaining structures Hybrid soil nail systems Short mechanically stabilized earth SMSE, walls What are the advantages of soil nail wall? Creates less noise and traffic obstructions Less impact on nearby properties Allow excellent working space in front of the excavation face Can be used for strengthening of either natural slope, natural, or man-made cut slopes Grouting only once is required, saving time and labor The technique is flexible Easily modified. What are the disadvantages of soil nail wall? Nail encroachment to retained ground rendering unusable underground space. Generally larger lateral soil strain during removal lateral support and ground surface cracking may appear. Tendency of high ground loss due to drilling technique particularly at coarse grain soil. Less suitable for coarse grain soil and soft clayey soil, which have short self-support time, and soils prone to creeping. Suitable only for excavation above ground water. 22. Define sheet pile wall. What are the types of sheet pile wall? A sheet pile wall consists of a series of sheet piles driven side by side into the ground, thus forming a continuous vertical wall for the purpose of retaining an earth bank. They are commonly used for waterfront structures, temporary construction, and lightweight construction where subsoil is poor for supporting a retaining wall. A sheet pile wall may be of three types. They are Cantilever sheet piling Anchored sheet piling Braced sheeting 23. Give the different types of sheet piles based on materials. Concrete sheet pile Timber sheet pile Steel sheet pile 24. Write the functions of sheet piles. To enclose a site or part thereof to prevent the escape of loose subsoil such as sand, and to safeguard against settlement. To retain the sides of the trenches and general excavation. To protect river banks. To protect the foundations from scouring actions of nearby river, stream etc. To construct coastal defense works. What are the uses of sheet pile? To protect river banks. To retain the sides of foundation trenches. To resist flow of underground or loose soil or of both. To resist bending abrasion or other stresses which may arise in use. 26. Define dewatering. Dewatering means removal of excess water from the saturated soil. It is used where the water table is high or in the case of deep excavations the foundation trenches for buildings and other structures, are filled with seeped water. What are the methods of ground water control? Pumping from open sumps. Pumping from well points. Pumping from board wells. 
What are the methods of dewatering? Ditches Well point system Shallow well system Deep well system Vacuum method Electroosmosis method Write the essential features of a pump to be used for dewatering. The pump should be portable so that it can be easily moved as and when required. The pump should be capable of handling water mixed with impurities such as sand, earth, etc. The pump should be of strong make. The performance of pump should be reliable. 30. What are the methods of waterproofing? Cementitious waterproofing Liquid waterproofing membrane Bituminous membrane Bituminous coating Polyurethane liquid membrane Define trenching a trench is defined as an arrow excavation, in relation to its length, made below the surface of the ground. In general, the depth of a trench is greater than its width, but the width of a trench, measured at the bottom, is not greater than 15 feet, 4.6 m. 32. Dot, what are the types of trenching? Single slot trenching, one side step trenching, two side step trenching, multi step trenching, one side slope trenching, two side slope trenching. What are the advantages of using trenchers? It is faster and cheaper method of trenching. It digs only as much as is necessary. A 10 cm pipe can be installed in a 15 cm wide slot cut by a trencher. It is a continuous process and is not like that of backhoe excavator, i.e. Dug lift. Dump. On what basis you will select the equipment for the construction? Volume of the material to be removed. Size of the machine used. Depth of excavation. Height to be lifted. Soil type. Duration of period Rented or purchased Production cost Spares availability Skilled operation 35. What are the types of earth moving equipment for construction? Production equipment Equipment used for digging and moving Service equipment Dozers and motor girders List out the material handling devices. These are the lifting and lowering devices, vertical motion. Block and tackle Winches Hoists Elevators Pillar crane Overhead crane 37. List out the transportation devices, horizontal motion Wheelboros and hand truck Narrow gauge mine railroad Tractors and trailers Skids Pipeline 38. List out the applications of motor grader. Land clearance. 
Snow clearance. Material mixing. Hard surface cutting. Ditch filling or digging. Bank cutting and reshaping. What are the devices used for combination of lifting, lowering, and transportation operations? Spiral shoot. Lift track. Crane truck. Forklift truck. Conveyors of various types. What is a tractor? Mention its types. Tractor is earth moving equipment which converts engine energy into tractive energy. The two types of tractors are crawler or tract type, wheel or pneumatic type. 41. What are the factors to be considered while selecting a tractor? Size of the dozer for adjuvan job. The type of work expected from the tractor dozer. Example, bulldozing, ripping, land clearing, pulling a scraper. The type and condition of hauled road. Gradient of the haul road. Distance to be moved. Type of work expected to be taken from the equipment after the present job is completed. What are the advantages of crawler excavator? More tractive effort, hence can also operate on loose or muddy soil. In absence of tires, can easily operate in rocky conditions, as there is no danger for the damage of the tires. Where maintenance of haul roads is difficult, it can be easily travel, especially in rough terrains. Crawler tractors are more compact and powerful and hence can handle difficult jobs as well. What are the advantages of wheeled tractors? Can travel at higher speeds during the operation and also from one job to another. Can travel long distance at its own power, whereas crawler mounted needs trailers. When work is spread over long area, there are found to be producing more output. Easy in operation. Operation feels less fatigue. What are the uses of excavators? Digging of trenches, holes and foundations. Material handling. Brush cutting with hydraulic attachments. Forestry work. Demolition. General grading landscaping. Heavy lift, e.g. lifting and placing of pipes. Mining, especially, but not only open pit mining. River dredging. Driving piles, in conjunction with a pile driver. 45. List out the types of excavators. Compact excavator. Crawler excavator. Wheeled excavator. Backhoe loader. Dragline excavator. Bucket wheel excavator. Long reach excavator. Power shovel. Suction excavator. 46. What are the main uses of a bulldozer? Clearance of shrubs and small trees. Clearance of trees by using raised mold blade as a pusher arm. Acting as a towing tractor. 
acting as a pusher to scraper machines. 47. Differentiate between crawler and pneumatic types of wheels. Crawler type wheel. Pneumatic type wheel. The crawler moves on an endless chain. It moves on pneumatic tires. They are slow speed. They are faster in speed. They are used for uneven and rough ground. They operate best on smooth roads. They have a speed of about 12 kmph. They have a speed of about 50 kmph. What is motor grader? Motor graders are used for leveling and smoothening of the earthwork, spreading and leveling the base courses in the construction of roads and airfield. It can be used for land reclamation, snow clearance, gravel road repairing, mixing of stabilizing materials such as tar, asphalt, cement, and lime, maintaining quarry roads, etc. What is a scraper? Scrapers are the device to scrap the ground and load it simultaneously, transport it over the required distance, dump at desired place and then spread the dumped material over the required area in required thickness level, and return to the pit for the next cycle. The scrapers are of three types. They are Toad type Self-propelled or motorized Self-loading or elevating scraper What are the three types of scraper? What are the advantages of elevating scraper? The three types of scraper are Crawler drawn scraper Two axle scraper Three axle scraper the advantages of elevating scraper are Better loading ability in loose free-flowing materials Good finishing ability Can be operated independently Pusher tractor dozer is not required Smooth and complete unloading of bowl by reversing the elevator rotation Pulverizing and mixing action by the elevator places material in uniform and homogeneous state for compaction. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.